Hi friends, uh, Kalpana Talpade here. Uh, welcome to Kalpana's Kitchen. Today I will be showing you a fish recipe, a non-vegetarian recipe and that is called Kalva. Okay, it is found on the, in the sea of course, on the rocks and it's a rare fish because it's uh, difficult to uh, get it in the market. So it's a rare fish and very tasty of course and I will just show you this uh, Kalva, how they look. This is how the Kalva looks. These are, uh, they come on the rocks and uh, there's nothing to clean in this so i have to just you have to just uh, feel it with your fingers and see if there are any uh, shell you know the rock shell or something like that see otherwise the another fisherwoman has claimed this for me like see you find this small thing there so that is irritating that's all otherwise they have claimed huh so these are the calver that there are some uh, two dozen calvers here and they are nice and big in size Okay, you can make even bhajjas out of this in the regular bhajja batter. Very tasty, very yummy fish this is. Now for the ingredients for this, I have taken a lot of garlic here, two onions, then half a cup of uh, dry coconut. Dry coconut I have grated that and uh, one teaspoon I have taken fennel seeds that is called badishe. Uh, this is coriander leaves for garnishing. And of course our regular uh, garam masala, all our dry masala. This is turmeric powder, hing, uh, chili powder and my garam masala. Okay, salt as per taste. I will now add the masala to this uh, this kalva. Take in half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Uh, one to nearly two teaspoons of chili powder. Like a little spicy. And uh, this is my garam masala. I have taken one and a half spoon. Okay. I will just keep this aside and I will fry all this. I have taken one tablespoon oil here and uh, I will fry all this onion. The onion, then the garlic, the fennel seeds that is called uh, body shape and uh, the dry coconut. Okay, these are the things I will fry them to golden brown. Please do not burn them because the taste will change completely. On slow fire, I will fry them. Okay, you can see now I have uh, fried the that one onion, then the dry coconut, uh, then uh, garlic and fennel seeds that is body shape. Okay, now I will uh, put it in the blender. Okay. Okay, now I have taken another vessel here. I have uh, taken uh, one tablespoon oil. Then uh, I have taken half a teaspoon uh, hing, that is acetylidia. Okay. You can see, no? Fine. Now I will add the, that one onion that I have kept, chopped onion. I have to just let this onion cook, uh, brown a little bit and then I will add the fish. The calva doesn't like fish, it doesn't take time to cook, it's very fast. So, and my masala is also ready, that is also cooked as I fried it. Just fry this onion. Yeah. Fine. Now the onion has changed color. It's got that golden color. Now I will add this fish. I'll add some water here. And yes, of course, I have forgotten the salt. This is the time to add your salt. 
salt as per taste. Now I will let this cook for some time, just for some time, and then I will add this uh, ground masala. Hmm? The masala I showed you, dry coconut, onion, fennel seeds, and uh, garlic. Okay. So this takes two minutes to cook. I will after this is cooked, I will add the masala. Okay, you can see now uh, it's cooked. See, I will just shrunk to size. See. Hmm? Now I will add this masala that I ground. Now the masala is cooked, everything is cooked here. I'll just let it uh, blend together and I'll put off the fire. One boil, I will do. This is how it will look. Mm. Yummy. Hi. Now the kalwa is ready to uh, eat. You can serve this with bhakris, they are the best combination with bhakri or with your fulkas or bread also you can have and rice eaters, yes with rice also, okay. So try this kalwa and let me know. Bye till next video.